Today we're making some cozy vegan soup recipes in the Instant Pot. First, a pumpkin lasagna soup that combines everything you love about fall flavors and everything you love about lasagna into one soup. And then a creamy wild rice mushroom soup that's hearty, protein packed, and wholesome. Plus, I'll be sharing my number one tip for getting the most depth of flavor in all of your soups without adding any extra calories. So let's get started. This pumpkin lasagna soup is pure comfort food, but even better possibly is that it takes just four minutes to cook in the Instant Pot. I do add a can of chickpeas to make this a more balanced meal, but if you wanna use a different protein or omit the chickpeas, you can go ahead and do that as well. We're gonna get started by preparing the aromatics. Simply dice up some carrots, onion, and garlic. And now for my number one tip for infusing deep flavor into soup, a bouquet garni, which is simply a bundle of fresh herbs. I recommend tying them together using kitchen twine, and the herbs infuse the entire soup with a complex depth of flavor and the aroma of rustic home cooking. Since this is a pumpkin lasagna soup, we'll be using one can of pumpkin, as well as lasagna noodles that you'll break up into smaller pieces. To start cooking the soup, you'll turn on the saute function of the Instant Pot and heat up a bit of olive oil. Once it's hot, add the onions and carrots for about five minutes with a pinch of salt until they're softened. Then you'll toss in the garlic until it's nice and fragrant. Deglaze the pan by pouring in the vegetable broth, followed by some light coconut milk to make the soup creamy, pre-cooked or canned chickpeas, nutritional yeast for cheesiness and umami, salt and pepper, the bouquet garni, and the lasagna pieces. Stir well to ensure all of the noodles are submerged. Then scoop the pumpkin right on top of everything, but don't mix it in. This helps prevent it from scorching and burning on the bottom of the Instant Pot. We'll use the pressure cook setting and cook it for four minutes, and then perform a quick pressure release when it's done. When the timer's up, remove the bouquet garni, pour in some tomato sauce, and bring it to a gentle boil for several minutes until the soup has thickened. To make the soup really feel like lasagna, I serve it with my vegan ricotta cheese. It's wholesome and takes just five minutes to make. You can find the recipe down below. This creamy wild rice mushroom soup uses both wild rice and dried beans, which can be kind of a pain to cook on the stove. You have to cook them separately, it takes a long time, you have to soak the beans. But with this recipe in the Instant Pot, it's super simple. You're gonna throw all of the ingredients into the machine, let it do its magic, and then you'll be treated to a hearty, delicious, and creamy soup. Here are the ingredients you need for this creamy wild rice mushroom soup. I'm gonna give the cannellini beans just a quick 15 minute soak. I find it really improves the texture of the beans and results in fewer split skins. The only real work you need to do for the soup is chop up the vegetables and you don't have to be super precise about it because it's all going to get cooked down in the Instant Pot. We have some carrots, celery, mushrooms, onions, and garlic. And again, we're making that bouquet garni, this time with sage, rosemary, thyme, and bay leaves. While I typically recommend sauteing at least a few ingredients before pressure cooking everything in the Instant Pot to build more flavor, using the bouquet garni here is gonna bring in lots of flavor while still keeping this recipe really simple. And now you're just going to add all of the ingredients to the Instant Pot, the vegetable broth along with water, or you can just use more broth, the wild rice, the quick soaked cannellini beans, I'm also using a combination of button and beech mushrooms, celery, carrots, chopped onions and garlic, a generous amount of salt and pepper, and finally the bouquet garni. We'll 
We'll use the pressure cook setting on the Instant Pot for 45 minutes. It is quite a long time, but remember we are cooking unsoaked beans and wild rice, which would take much longer on the stove. Plus, the best benefit, you don't have to wait around the kitchen or stand around stirring. To make the soup creamy, whisk together some creamy plant-based milk with cornstarch or arrowroot powder. Add it to the soup along with a few pinches of salt and bring it to a gentle boil for several minutes until the soup has thickened. To make the soup extra creamy, use an immersion blender or stand blender to roughly blend about half of the soup and then stir everything to incorporate. When you're ready to make these instant pot fall soups, head on over to the blog to get the full recipes. And if you want even more cozy fall instant pot recipes, don't go anywhere because I have a short little playlist waiting for you. And of course, if you want even more vegan instant pot recipes, I've got over 90 of them in my cookbook. So head to the description box below to check it out. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that red subscribe button down below because I post new videos every week and I hope to see you in the next one.